Cam Newton also addressed the the question of whether he should even be a starting quarterback in the NFL. Here he is from the I Am Athlete podcast on the question of whether or not there are 32 other quarterbacks out there who are better than him. My pride won't even allow me to do that. Listen, bro, there's not 32 guys better than me. Mm. Put it like that. So you asking where you me, at, like, where you at? Talk to, bro, talk, talk, talk. I, I'm not 32. <laughs> that's, you know, that's, that's all that matters when you're a guy looking for a starting quarterback job. Where are you? I'm not 32. Yeah. Now, now, now there, there's three or four or five coming in that may take those spots, which complicates things a little bit, but I, yeah, he should be a starter in the NFL. The question is where the question is what kind of financial commitment and the question is what kind of a fit will it be? And is it a place where he wants to be where he sees himself having success, but, but clearly Cam Newton should be a starting quarterback in the NFL with the full opportunity to, to jump in as of March 17, not June 30th, like he did last year with the Patriots. Yeah. I, I mean, ag- uh, agreed, agreed, agreed. I do think he's one of the 32 best quarterbacks in the world. I do. Now the caveat that goes with that is when he's your quarterback though, you do have to play a certain style of offense. And that's, I think, the other part of the conversation. You know, again, it's not going to be in the shotgun and we're going to, you know, throw the ball 45 times and he's going to surgically destroy you that way. No, that's not Cam Newton. Cam Newton's greatness is, you know, the he makes defenses have to play run-heavy defenses because of his ability to run the football and do all of those things. And then when he threatens you with that, he can make big-time aggressive throws down the field, you know, against one-on-one coverage or or certain zone defenses that are that are being called to stop the run and do all of that too. So you have to go a little bit all in on, you know, playing a certain way with him as compared to maybe your traditional type quarterback. And I think that too, within itself, you know, might cancel out a few teams that uh, normally maybe it would be in the quarterback market because they go, well, man, our team isn't orchestrated right now to play that style of football. We've kind of been built one way. And I think that's part of this conversation that goes along with Cam Newton as well. Yeah, um, you're right. And and that that's that's just part of the overall package of yeah. does it fit? Does it make sense? Are you willing to do what needs to be done to embrace Cam Newton as your quarterback? And the other thing that we haven't discussed that was one of the big reasons why he was available until late June of last year, the various injuries. Right. Where is he from the standpoint of the shoulder surgeries, foot surgery, ankle surgeries? And can you be confident he'll get through a season healthy? He did last year, but for the COVID. That's the irony. Physically, he was fine last year. It was the COVID that undermined his performance. But I think that's another concern as well. Before you make a huge financial commitment to Cam Newton, you better be comfortable that you can keep him healthy and that he's also healthy enough to play at the level that is necessary. So let's play this game of who is he better than? We'll go team by team. Let's try to go as quickly as we can because we've got 32 to get to. Let's start with the AFC East. Jarrett Stidham. Yes. That's that's the current penciled-in starter based on who's on the roster and under contract. Clearly better than Stidham. Definitely. Brings more to the table, without a doubt. The way their team's formulated, of course, you know, they 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 can use Cam Newton as we see. Yeah, they could use some pieces to, you know, spice things up. But, yes, better than Stidham. All right. Buffalo, Josh Allen. No, that's a no. of course not. All right. Miami and Tua Tonga-Vailoa. I, you know, we're, we we hear this talk of them being interested in Deshaun Watson. Is Cam Newton an upgrade over Tua? I, I believe so. Yes, I, I do. Now, you know, the, the the conversation there is, though, the guy's a top five pick, and that's where it's different. But, yes, if you made me uh, choose right now, I'm taking Cam Newton. Yes or no? Yes. Cam Newton, Cam yes. Newton. Tua, no. Right. Sam Darnold, Jets. Cam Newton. <sighs> I'm going to say no right now. I'm going to say no. I'm a little bit of a believer in Cam, I mean Sam Darnold. I think he's got talent, as we've talked about. You know, when you're around crap, crap's going to get on your arms, and you're going to smell like crap sometimes. Oh, that's Thank you very yeah. much for that. Enjoy enjoy your breakfast out there, folks, if you watch the show on <laughs> Peacock. All right, let's move to the AFC North. Baltimore, Lamar Jackson. No. Okay. Pittsburgh, I agree with you. If I, I will only say anything if I disagree with okay. you just to expedite this. Steelers, Ben Roethlisberger. Mm, 
That's that's a close one. This is where I, this is the one I don't I don't mean to filibuster here. I really don't know how I feel here with this one. It's it's very close. I would I would probably err close to saying Cam Newton right now. I I I I would. I think it's very close. But with the the age of Big Ben, him being banged up, I don't know where he's at. I think it's very close. It's it that's a toss up to me. Let's just say that. Think of it this way, too. Yeah. Ben Roethlisberger counts $22.25 million that, the cap, whether he's on the team or right. not. He's got $19 million in salary that they have to figure out what to do with. You can take that $19 million and give it to Cam Newton. See, once the Steelers start thinking that way, okay, we could give Ben 19 whether it's signing bonuses or whatever he do to play with the cap consequences, or we could give it to Cam Newton. Man, I should I know. be tempted to give it to Cam it's Newton. It's a tough one Ben there. Roethlisberger at this point. Tough to do because yeah. you think of what – what the guy has done for the team right but you know the what have you done for me lately has yielded to what are you doing for me right now and what are you doing for me tomorrow and i think under that analysis i think it's i think it's closer to cam than ben roethlisberger browns baker mayfield no going baker bengals joe burrow no way well and right yeah and he's injured he's healthy i know if right. he's healthy right Right, well, but what, I don't think if, that's a I mean, real possibility right now. But we saw that injury; he may not be ready Ooh. by week one. It's just you know, and that but that creates a problem. You have Cam Newton as your starter for half the year, and then Joe Burrow's ready. That yeah. that's that doesn't work. Burrow's right. got the potential, and he's shown he can get it done. AFC South, Deshaun. Well, assuming that Deshaun Watson is with the Texans, that would be a no. No, no, right, no. If the Texans would trade Deshaun Watson, Cam Newton becomes a viable replacement, though. I, I would think so. He's going to know that offense. Billy O'Brien, he's got one of the guys that was under him there, so he'll understand that language. Nick Casario, of course, knows what Cam Newton's all about. Uh, I, I would think that becomes an option, maybe, if, if Deshaun Watson does ultimately get traded. Titans, Ryan Tannehill. No, Tannehill's too good right now. Jaguars now... Currently on the depth chart, Gardner Minshew and Mike Glennon. Yeah, but we I'd know. say that's a yes for Cam Newton. But you're not you're not taking Cam over drafting Trevor Lawrence. No, you're not. Not right now. No way. And then Indianapolis Carson Wentz. Yeah, now, it's not like they're going to throw Wentz overboard when they just brought him in. But right. but is Cam Newton better than Carson Wentz right now? Uh, it, uh, uh, listen, the way uh, Carson Wentz played last year, it it's closer than I would have said maybe at the beginning of last year. But I still would go with Carson Wentz at this point. AFC West, Patrick Mahomes. Let's not let's not even go there. Yeah. Uh, Raiders, Derek Carr. No, Derek Carr. I think is a fringe top ten quarterback. Wow. What did you mean by fringe? How how big is your fringe? Well, my fringe would be somewhere. You know, I think you could. Argue, I mean, Matt Ryan's number eleven. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I think you could argue somewhere anywhere from like nine to thirteen or fourteen, right? Like somewhere in that range. I think if you got reasonable <laughs> minds together, that you'd have some that would go, "Oh, I think he's nine. You know, you might talk to one coach and he goes, oh, "I'd say about twelve, and this one goes ten, and this one goes thirteen, or whatever." I think right around there. I, I'm starting to think your February detox is creating some other sort of toxicity to evaluate <laughs> Derek Carr. Uh, Justin Herbert and the no Chargers. No way. No way. Justin Herbert's yeah. a superstar. Drew Locke Broncos. <sighs> yes. Right now, Cam's better. Cam's yeah. better than Drew we're, Locke We're both right Drew Locke guys. We're both Drew Locke yeah. guys, and we're coming to the conclusion that maybe uh, between – inability to stay healthy and inability to perform at a high level consistently. He may not be the guy. All right. NFC East, Dak Prescott, Cowboys. No, I mean, Dak, Dak's a top 10 quarterback when healthy. Jalen Hurts, Philadelphia Eagles. Hey, and look, the Eagles are going to bring in somebody else. They want two quarterbacks. They value that backup quarterback position. Could Cam Newton be the competition for Jalen Hurts? I, I, I and think beat so. him out. I do think so. Yes. Uh, Jalen Hurts, you know, maybe a, a hair more of a gifted runner as far as getting out in the open field right now than a Cam Newton, but Cam is still a gifted runner, and I would take Cam's throwing any day over Jalen Hurts. Daniel Jones, New York football Giants. Oh, gosh, this is another close one right now. Oh, man. I, 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 this is a toss-up for me. It really is. It's right there. I mean, I don't think the Giants are going to abandon ship. I don't think it's a legitimate conversation. But I, I think this one's very close. Can I just say that? Can I cop out and say a toss-up? No, I, I don't disagree with yeah. you. And I agree that the Giants aren't going to throw Daniel Jones overboard right. going into year three. And I don't think Dave Gettleman, the GM of the Giants, who was with Cam Newton in Carolina, is interested in a reunion. And Cam Newton probably isn't interested in a reunion with Dave Gettleman. But, but yeah, you, you're, you're still trying to figure out what you have right. in Daniel Jones. You don't want to just press pause on that for a year 
while you while you just experiment with Cam right. Newton. Right. Let me just. Washing- I was just going to say this one thing, right? Just because this is like we this aspect is real too. Yeah, Daniel Jones. Hey, hey, yeah, he's a better consistent thrower. You know, the other thing you got to remember with Cam, like we've talked about so much last year. He does give your team a different aura and confidence and thinking. And I don't think the Giants feel that. Those players feel that in Daniel Jones right now. As compared to what Cam Newton, you might go, oh, okay, he might miss a few more throws, but our team rallies around him and we believe more with him. And he's capable of maybe making bigger plays too. So those are the things that people would have to balance out with those type of situations. Sorry, dude. No, no. And, yeah. and you're right. You know, when, when Cam Newton joined that team, that's part of what we said. He walks through the door with the kind of credibility that is similar to what Tom Brady has. And you need that, especially after Tom Brady walks out, you, you can't have somebody who's not going to take over. They, the, the locker room would be shiftless and lost. You yeah. need someone who comes in and takes over. And that's something Cam Newton's going to bring to the table wherever he goes. Washington, Alex Smith. I think he's going to be cut. Taylor Heineke's the other option. Who knows where they're going to go. You've got, Ron Rivera there as the head coach. You've got Marty Herney, not as the GM, but a level above. Would would that one make sense to you? I, it really, he's I mean, better. He's better than anyone currently on the depth chart. I mean, we're, I'm mixing the the exercise here. He's clearly better than anyone they have. Yeah, he's clearly better than anyone they have. Yes, definitely. That one to me screams possibility because also Washington's in no man's land for the drafting of a quarterback. I think too. So that one. I would think Washington is at least tossing that idea around right now. And they kind of have the pieces to play that style of football, too. They have a good old line. Antonio Gibson, a running back, the Terry McLaurin and the things he can do and all that. They could play Cam Newton ball in Washington. I think that that, that oh, I would make it a possibility if I was, you know, a part of that organization. All right, for these last three divisions, and this is a message to me more than it is to you, just focusing on better than the current quarterback, Aaron Rodgers, Green Bay, that's a no. No. Correct? No. All right, I, right. I, the, the worst person I could ask that question of. <laughs> Vikings, Kirk Cousins. Dun, no. Dun, dun. No. Kirk Cousins. Really? Uh, uh, yes, I know you don't, but I I like Kirk Cousins. I do. <laughs> M- M- Mitchell Trubisky. Yes, yes, he's better than Mitchell Trubisky. Nick Foles, the alternative starter yes. in Chicago. Yes, yes. Jared, Jared Goff. Yes. I'm sorry. Yes. Uh, Cam Newton I, brings I more to your team than any of those last three guys you just talked about. I agree with all those. I am intrigued by Cam Newton to Minnesota, but uh, I, I, I probably agree with you across the board in the NFC North. NFC South, Taysom Hill, New Orleans Saints. Oh, man. That's, that's a really tough one, too, because it's just we haven't seen him play. I'm going to – I'm going to say no right now because, I, I mean, he's Taysom Hill's got a big-time arm, and he's a big-time playmaker, so I'm going to say no to that one. Jameis Winston, technically under contract, but the contract expires as free as Cam Newton. Who's better between the two? Mm, uh, that's another close one, too. Uh, I would probably go Jameis Winston. I probably would, yes. Just in a, by, a, by a slight edge, I probably would. Do I dare ask you? you no, I wouldn't go. Br- I would Tom go Brady. Brady. Of course, I would go. Do Brady. I dare? <laughs> I'm not that with much fully of a inflated footballs. Well, yes, that yes, <laughs> he can throw it with it. He didn't need to do it. Stop. Stop. <laughs> you started. Uh, okay, <laughs> Panthers. Teddy Bridgewater. Well, we know that's not happening, but yes, he's better than him. Yeah. Matt Ryan. No, the number eleven quarterback in the NFL. That would be why. All right, Russell Wilson. No. Matthew Stafford. No. Kyler Murray. Of course not. Jimmy G. Ooh. Yes. Yes. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I'm Sorry, working. Jimmy. Hey, hey, look, we haven't talked about this. I, I wrote something last week. I, I think they're going to cut Jimmy G. I think they're going to find somebody else some way, somehow. They don't have anything that forces them to commit guaranteed money to Jimmy G. I think they're going to cut him well, at some point between now and the beginning of the season. Well, I, I don't like I, too I don't, much, $25 million, too much I don't for a disagree. guy who can't stay healthy. Well, th- that's scary. You're right. I don't disagree that I, I, I'm with you. It seems like they're looking for options there at that position. But, man, you know, also, that that's a re- pretty friendly quarterback contract I mean it's pretty damn good you know but I know the injury thing is real but they still got to look at like you got to show me somebody that's better before we cut him and they don't have that on their roster right now I know know that 
but but 25 million is a lot. Maybe they squeeze him to take less. Maybe that's the end of this. Maybe, maybe he realizes no one's going to pay him 25 and he takes 20, 19, 18 because no one else is offering anything close to that. I just I don't think that contract's getting traded and I don't think that contract's getting honored. At a minimum they're going to squeeze him to take less. So that's my prediction of okay. what it's worth, which is not much. Okay, so 21 quarterbacks better than Cam, two were toss-ups. Nine that Cam is truly better than. That's nearly a third of the league. So maybe somebody should be calling. Instead of wasting your time on Deshaun Watson or Russell Wilson where the teams aren't inclined to trade and you'd have to give up a lot to get them, there's a guy out there that you don't have to give up anything to get. Maybe you should be evaluating him as well, and teams probably are because he is clearly better than roughly a third of the quarterbacks in the NFL. All right. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.